Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be using these Tim Hortons packs again that I for some reason always struggle to open, so I have scissors ready to go. Now I saw a really cool comment about doing a reverse Tim Hortons draft and I just thought it was too risky. I actually set everything up for it and then I realized that I have six packs and if we don't take any of the players or even if we get rid of one, we're obviously going to win the Stanley Cup. I tried to build a team that was cap compliant from the, the base set of those Tim Hortons packs and I just, no, it wasn't going to happen. I did really like the idea. It was just the risk of not pulling any of those cards and, you know, then the packs are open. So once it's done, it's done. So instead, what I am going to be doing is opening six Tim Hortons packs and we have a team here that is just all free agents. I will be randomly selecting before I open the pack, the front, the middle, or the back card. And on top of that, from two of the packs, I will have to specify before I open it, I get to pick two. So I could do a top and bottom, top, middle, etc. But I can only do that for two packs. So let's grab one, move the others to the side. And you know what? Right off the bat, I'm feeling it. I'm going to do a top and a middle from the first pack. All right, yeah, I've resorted to just cutting it again because that is the easiest way for me. Otherwise, I struggle mightily. Uh, the Golden Knights, we get a... What is this? A best run? Okay, Mark Stone. Oh, that's a cool picture, actually. I'm super down with that. So Mark Stone will be joining our squad, and so will the next card, but the back will be a discard, essentially. So let's go ahead and slide it off here. It's upside down. But we get Gold Caulfield, baby! All right, that's two very good players to be adding to our roster here. And the card that we will not be adding to our team is going to be a Gabriel Landeskog. That kind of hurts. Okay, from this one, I am going to choose the back. Let's go with the back most cards. Yeah, once you cut it, it makes it so easy to open. All right, so we are not getting Marchi, which is unfortunate. He would have been sick to add to the team. These round corner red cards are a Tim Hortons staple, an absolute classic. But we also do not get Brock Besser. Okay, that sucks. But we do get, ooh, Carey Price. What is his overall in this game, I wonder? Truthfully, I was kind of hoping we didn't get a goalie because we have Braden Holpe, who's a free agent apparently. He's 83 overall, but the game's the game. Hopefully we don't get another goalie now because that would be devastating. I'm going to take the middle card from this pack. So let's go ahead, open it up, and at the back here... Oh my goodness, is that an Ovi? Is that an Ovi? I'm going to be so gassed. It is. That is legendary. Gold etchings as well. I'm fired up about that. Always love to see an Ovechkin, but unfortunately, he's not a part of the team unless he is also the second card. No, Nico is going to be the second card. So welcome to the roster, he sure. That is a solid pickup as well. Can't deny it. And the other card that will not be making it onto the roster is Chitrin. Chikrin, whichever it is. I don't know, but that does kind of suck because we are in need of defensemen a little bit. Not going to fib. From this one, let's go with... Two. I'm going to do two again, and I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the back and the front. Let's get rid of the middle. Moment of truth. So we add... Ooh, the red rounded corner. Panarin. Okay, that was way more of a struggle than it needed to be. But we get Artemi. That is lovely. This next card will be the discard of the pack, and it is going to be Trevor, the cover boy. That's a little upsetting, but oh well. It is what it is. And the other player we will be adding is gonna be Moritz! Let's go! We'll go for the middle in this pack, but uh, yeah, just looking at the cards that we've taken so far from the other video, I only would have lost two, and it would have been Caulfield and Cider. So I'm kind of happy that I went this route and decided to do just a regular pack draft instead. Although I gotta say again, it is a phenomenal idea. So I appreciate you leaving a comment. My camera, well, the one that I'm using for the cards took a tumble. It's not the best setup in the world, but it gets the job done. So, yeah, we'll stick with it for now. So, we are not getting Stamkos. Another round red corner, red corner. <laughs> Another red round corner card. We will be adding to the team, however, Tyler Toffoli. All right, he is a right winger. I'm trying to think about all the positions we have right now. I can't really envision it, though. And the last card is a Jordan Bennington. I'm very happy I didn't go with the back because we would have had too many goalies. For our final pack, I'm going to go with the top card. Please be a good one. It is going to be... No way. Oh my word. There is absolutely no way. All right, we just got sick. A Superstars Connor McDusty. Our team has just been completed. We are still big time lacking in the defensive department. We will not be getting an Andrei Svechnikov. Okay, so, so far, if I was to do a pack where I picked multiple and actually got to see, I think this would be one of them. The last card, come on. All right, so in summary, these are the cards that we will not be adding to the team, but we pulled some of them I am very devastated about. We got an Ovi and a Crosby, though. I'm still just happy I pulled the cards. They won't be a part of our team, but... 
I still have the card regardless. So there you go. And the eight players we will be adding to our team consist of Connor McDusty. I don't know why I, these cards don't slide up very well. <laughs> we have Tyler Toffoli. And we also get Artemi Panarin, gassed about that. Him and McDusty will light it up. Moritz will be the quarterback of the defenseman. He's going to have to carry a lot of weight back there, unfortunately. Nico, another great centerman. He'll probably be our second-line center. We get Carey, our goalie, will be our starter. And then we also get Goal Caulfield. So let's go back into our team here, edit the team, and we shall go ahead... Make some player movements. Actually, can I physically move the players to that team? Because I might do that for now instead. All right, no, it does not look like you can do that. Actually, I was just thinking, if we have the custom league, can we make it 33 teams and just add us in? That's something I've been asking for for a long time. So if we're able to do that, I'm going to be very excited. Yeah. He's not going to be our starter. I'm not sure if it's official yet, but he pretty much retired. So... We got that going for us. That's amazing. At least it seems like he's going to retire. That's going to make our team a little bit better, I would say. Moment of truth. Can we do what I think we can do? Custom league. Because you can have 33 teams there. So let's see if you can do it here. Oh my goodness, you can. I'm going to just leave everything else the same. Yep, here's the squad that we want to take out for our custom team. That is amazing. I am so happy that's a feature. I was going to throw them in the central, but it looks like it's sort of jumbled up anyway. And I'm not going to bother fixing it because it doesn't really matter that much. At 86 overall, we are not the worst team in the league, but we are definitely not the best. We're going to need a big carry from the Timmy's Pack Boys. I kind of feel bad for Moritz. I would have liked to have had one more defenseman to play with him. I think the only other defenseman we pulled was... Chikrit, no? That first line is intimidating. Our second line's solid with Toffoli, Heischer, and Caulfield. And then on defense, we've got Moritz. So he will be, like I said, the quarterback for our defense. And Holpe's our goalie, backed up by Garrett Sparks. I have no idea how this sim is going to go. Right now, I don't envision it going too well. Actually, I can make a move here. If I move Toffoli up here, it gives us a plus one and a plus five. That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to do that. Toffoli, you can play on the first line then. Stone shoots right. Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll leave it like that. That way I'm spreading it out, but if it's not really working, not gelling, I'll promote Panarin back to the first line. I can somehow still see this team making the playoffs, but at the same time, it seems unlikely. So I really am on the fence with this squad. I don't know which way to lean. 6-4-0 is an okay start, but wow, some teams in our division are ripping it up. How are we 10-5-0 and, oh and last in our division? We most have the most competitive division of all time. Also, I'm pretty sure I just made up a word, or I threw most in there instead of must. But anyway, let's just continue forward here. 50 points already? So that was my sample size to see whether or not we should throw Panarin back on the first line. We're 20-13-2. and two. Should I try it for a month and see what happens? Look at him go. 42 points, not a big deal. I think I might try it out. Let's make the move back. See if it's working out, and if I don't really notice a difference, then I'll probably put Panarin back on the second line. But let's see what happens here over the next month or so. We just won three straight, four straight since making the move. The LA Kings would bring our winning streak to a halt, but yeah, it seems like it started successfully. Kind of cooling down a bit now, though. Panarin, it's been decided. You're on the second line. Okay, okay. Regretting that decision, considering we just lost four in a row. So maybe, oh yeah, I'm changing it back. Screw that. There's not even really a point stopping in at the trade deadline. So I'm just going to breeze past it this time around and try to get to the end of the season. Why are we collapsing? What's happening here? We started out so well. We're sixth in the division right now. We do have some ground to be gained. And that's a good way to gain some ground. Three straight wins. Jason Walsh is fired as the Winnipeg Jets head coach. Speaking of the Jets, it just... Shut them out. 3 nothing. Fire me up. Playoffs are looking unlikely. We have to win a lot of these last games. We pretty much have to go 3-0, and and we are not doing that. Oh, never mind. We actually made it in. We finished third in Custom Division 4 with 90 points. We just barely got ahead of the Columbus Blue Jackets, beating them out in row by one. I still don't know what this place thing means. Like, is that eighth in the league, eighth in the conference? I can't remember. Let's check out the entire league actually so we are not eighth in the league okay so yeah it's the conference in the conference conference we finished eighth <laughs> connor put up 81 points he was only a plus one panarin had a nice amount of points caulfield was a plus nine okay and he had 52 he sure had 55 to fully 58 
Stoner had 68. Moritz only put up 26, but I mean, we didn't really give him much to work with back there. So sorry about that, pal. Holpe did okay. 31, 27, and 3 with four shutouts. 906. Sparks had a 915. He played 23 games, 11, 7, and 3. Obviously, some of those games were probably relief for Holpe. I guess he was not doing so hot and got pulled. Bobrovsky led the league. He had a 915. A couple of 917s here for Demko and Samsonov. 919. I was about to say 920, but he didn't quite get there. Not quite, Andre. John Carlson led defenseman in points, getting a nice amount. Both Dougie and Fox would put up 68 apiece. And then we got Hughes and Hedman with 63 each. Came in to tuck 56 this year. Ovi had 53, but 56 is definitely going to be the Rocket Richard. He also gets the Art Ross with 114. Can't wait to see him clean up at the awards. Yeah, he was the only player to break 100 too. Marchi was the next closest. He had 98. Pasta also had 98. It's playoff time. You know what's going to happen. It's got to happen, right? There you go. Oh yeah? No, we didn't get swept. That's a big improvement. Can we push a best of three? We can. So no one can win in this game, and we do not have the upper hand. Minnesota does. Let's go ahead, jump into the simulation, and see what happens. Oh, I paused it by accident. Whoopsies. Caulfield gonna break the ice, gets the first goal in this game, and gives the Rams a one to nothing lead. We need this dub to push a game seven. If we don't, we're out. We are done. Caulfield would have the only goal of the first period, and Minnesota starts the second pretty early off anyway, with a power play that they aren't able to capitalize on, but Dumba will score even strength about halfway through the game, tying it up at 1-1. Shots are even. This is a very close contest. Caulfield, you are a legend. Fire me up. We are going into the third up by one. Now we just have to hold them off. Another power play for Minnesota that we managed to kill. Good stuff. Halfway through the third. Come on. No, stop giving them power plays. What are you guys doing out there, you bunch of goons? One minute. I thought they scored. Holy crap, I'm so happy it was you, Moritz. Holpe with a well-earned first star. 31 saves and a 968. Can the unthinkable happen? Will we make it past round number one? Let's find out right now. I keep pausing the sim by accident, but I will be turning up the simulation speed to eight. Why do we keep giving them power plays? Who's taking all these penalties? Kirill the Thrill will get the first goal of this one, making it 1-0 Minnesota in the first period. And that might be the only goal of the first. Yes, it will. Right on, right on to Foley. Gonna bury one, make it 1-1. Scores on Flower there. Another power play, but Moritz will score right after we kill it. Boldy, however, gonna make that lead disappear real quick. Here we go. Game seven, third period, tie hockey game, and we give them another power play. Who is taking all these penalties? I hope I remember to look because this is actually outrageous. Panarin, power play goal, ties it up at three. We have another power play, okay? We're finally getting some time on the PP here. And Nico will make the wild pay for that one. Three and a half to go. We might actually do it. We might actually do it. We've done it. Let's go! Whoever took those penalties is off the hook. Yeah. The President's Trophy winning Florida Panthers is our round two opponent. I don't envision this going super well. Okay, we actually managed to steal one of the first three. Best of... Mm, oh, 9-2. Here we go, Rams. Another power play given to the other team early on. Duclair going to score the first goal of the game. But McDusty gets a power play goal right back. And then Caulfield going to pile on. And that will be a 2-1 lead for your Regina Rams. Might as well make it 3-1. Toffoli will bury the last goal of the first period. Yep. This is just a bonus at this point. We're playing with the house's money because we got past round one. Shattenkirk buries one. Cuts the lead down to one. But James Neal has other plans. He will score and get the insurance marker right back. Shots are even, but the score is not. I think we might have this. We might live... To fight another day. Yes, sir. Let's go, Rams. James Neal with another one. And he gets the first star of the game. Now, can we push a game seven? That would be whack. Toronto playing Boston over there. We all know how that one ends. And hopefully, we know how this one ends as well. And it is with a Rams big dub. Okay, not ideal. Not ideal. But Jumbo Joe will score one. Five on three. What? They're just giving us power plays like it's candy right now. What is this, Halloween? Still 2-1 to one for Florida. They don't really have a whole lot of shots, so Holpe not playing outstanding. But I can't blame it just on him. To be fair, our defense, other than Moritz, 
not much to really highlight there. They have the power play and they will not capitalize another power play. Who's taking all these penalties? We get our chance and we fail, but McDavid will score after it, making it a one goal game yet again. We are running out of time here though. The clock is now our enemy to Foley. Seven minutes to go. He's going to tie it up. Another power play. Oh no. Oh no, no. Who did it? Who did it? Oh, Toffoli! What a legend! It was Alex Chase on. What are you doing? One goal will either send us home or send us to a game seven. We have a power play and don't capitalize. Not good. That is not good, but it doesn't matter because McDavid buries one. We are headed to a game seven against the President's Trophy winning Florida Panthers. Four point night from Matthew Kachuk. If we lose after all this, I'm going to be very upset. And I can see it happening. Power play to start. No. Not a whole lot of action in this first period. Shots once again pretty even here. So clearly these two squads are fairly matched. Unfortunately, Aaron Ekblad would rudely score a goal at the end of the first period there to give Flo Rida a one goal lead. A scoreless second, which means we are down by one going in to the third period which has been a be a pro classic so far come on we can do this mcdavid ties it up it's a 1-1 game we are so close a five on three if we don't score we don't deserve it but i don't care panarin yes are we actually gonna do it i think we are we are gonna do it oh my word we completed the comeback it is a miracle. Holtby played outstanding. Boston beat Toronto and the Capitals beat the Pens. From one tough opponent to the next, we have Colorado here as our next. And oh, okay. That is a very good start. No way. Are we going to make it to the Stanley Cup Finals? E. Will they push a game seven? They will. They're trying to pull a us. It, well, what we did in last round. They're trying to do that now in this round right here. And if they win... They will successfully pull in us. Evan Rodriguez gets the opening goal of this one. It is a 1-0 lead heading into period number two. Power play and Panarin makes them pay. That will tie it up another one. This time they will manage to kill it off. Will we head into period number three all squared up? No, we won't because, of course, Byram is going to score with 17 seconds left. Roussel! Oh my word, I can't even be mad at you for that penalty anymore. That is iconic. He manages to score on Pavel, making it a 2-2 contest. We give out another power play to Colorado. Sammy! We're getting some scoring from our non-Tims players here. This is outrageous. Five minutes to go. Hold them off. And we are in the Stanley Cup Finals. 40 seconds? And we gave them a power play. Wow, I can't believe this. There's your three stars of this contest. And we will be facing the Washington Capitals in the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's sim the first three games and see how it goes. That's a good start. Can we get the commanding lead? No, we cannot. It is now a best of three. And we are in the driver's seat. Out of the next two games, we have to win one of them. Once again, getting some depth scoring here. Chase Hahn will bury the first goal of the game. Neil... Sure. All right, we got to chill here. Four goals in the first, what was that, six minutes of the game? My caps are actually 0-2 to start the season, so we're not looking so good this year. But EA Sports thinks otherwise. Maybe they'll turn up the Jets eventually. Goal Caulfield scores at the halfway point of the game, giving us a one-goal lead, and now Panera gives us a two. Oh, baby. We're winning the Stanley Cup. I don't care. It's done. It's done. Mantha scores with 11 to go, cutting the lead down to one. Shots are in favor of the Rams at the moment, but this could go either way still. Can we hold them off? Your Stanley Cup champions, baby. Goal Caulfield will be the second star. Mantha gets the first, rightfully so. Two goals and a apple. That is respectable. There you have it. The Toronto Marlies won the Calder Cup. I wish. Marlies playoff games, a lot of fun to be at. Panarin buried 33 in 27 games. We got 31 from Connor. Nico put up 26 and Caulfield with 22. Holpe didn't even do good. He had an 888 and a 346. So clearly we got carried, which is what I asked them to do. So, you know, congrats, I guess. You did what I was asking. <laughs> Darcy Kemper had a 917, 14, 7, and 1 with two shutouts. Allmark had three shutouts in the playoffs. Holy crap, John Carlson, 30 points in 22 games. Moritz actually had 18, so he had a much better playoff run than his season. But still, not great. 
No, you know what? That is very good. I will gladly take that. Kill Makar, 18 points, 19 games. And then we have Panarin and McDavid leading the charge here. Ovi had 26 points. Other McDavid put up 24 points in 13 games. That is wild. Let's have a quick look at the awards here. Oh yeah, there's only the two. And obviously we knew that Hattrick Kane was going to clean up. Uri takes home the Calder. Panarin with the Conn Smythe. Love to see that. Allen gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Okay, and there you have it. Here is your playoff tree and the Stanley Cup champions, the Regina Rams. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. That was a roller coaster. But I appreciate you. I appreciate all the support you've given the channel so far in NHL 23. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the game and the content as well. On that note, I will see you soon.